your folks mad at you when you came in last night? They were sitting up waiting for me. Started to yell at me right then and there. You're not in by ten. They seem to think you're robbing old ladies or, or taking dope or something. You know, my dad said to me, he said he'd beat the tar out of me for good if I ever stayed out later than one o'clock again. What does he think I am, an eight-year-old kid? Oh, I don't know. My folks and I had quite a talk this morning about staying out late. They pretty well convinced me it wasn't a good idea. Oh, come off it. You know what I'd do if my dad tried anything I made? I'd leave home. Nobody's going to give me that stuff. I don't mind a few rules, as long as they stay the same. The trouble with my dad is he doesn't know what he wants. He changes mine every day. My dad can't understand why kids don't stay at home the way he did. But boy, he never makes it much fun for me to stick around. He kills me. The way parents forget that you got to have fun while you're young. Enough is enough. It's eight o'clock and he's not down yet. And no wonder. Heaven knows what time he got in this morning. And I'm not standing for this any longer. And what gets me, he's so cocky. Comes and goes without a word to us. Seems to take all this for granted. There's something to be said for good old-fashioned discipline. Maybe you're right, Harry. I don't know what to do. I'll straighten him out. Steve, I'm down here right away. I want to talk to you. Oh, boy, I feel kind of tired. I should think anyone with any common sense would know if he kept the hours you've been keeping that he'd feel tired. I've stood for all the nonsense I'm going to, Steve. Your school marks are a disgrace. And what's hit you all of a sudden, Pop? Steve, your father is terribly worried about your schoolwork. You just don't seem to care. You can't treat me like a kid. Oh, no? Well, listen to this, young man. I'm cutting off your allowance for a week as punishment for your rudeness. But, Dad, the school dance is a week from tomorrow night. I've got to go. I mean, Jeannie will be counting on it, and I need my allowance to pay for it. Nobody but yourself to blame. If you can't decide between your schoolwork and having a good time, then I'll decide for you. That's not fair. You don't understand. I understand this much. You'll stay in every night for a week and study, and there'll be no allowance. obviously created a bad situation. Steve is now so embittered, he may react in a way that could seriously affect his future education and work, as well as his personality development. If you were Steve's parents, what would you do? <laughs> 